हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर चिरंतन रावल फ्रॉम डॉक्टर ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज सिलवासा यू टी ऑफ दादरायन नगर हवेली टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट दिस इज एसोसिएटेड विथ ग्लाइकोजन सिंथेसिस अंडर द पेपर कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबोलिज्म सो स्टूडेंट्स what we are going to learn in this module our target is to understand the concept of glycogen storage diseases we'll explore specifically the diseases that is associated with the synthesis of glycogen we'll try to explore the molecular basis of the diseases glucose derived from the glycogen breakdown is an important source of energy for the body it provides energy for muscle contraction and serve as the primary source of energy for the brain healthy people maintains a relatively constant around 5 millimolar blood glucose concentration to support tissues and the organs it is very important my dear friends to maintain a blood glucose level glycogen is stored mainly in the skeletal muscles and the liver the glycogen that is present in the skeletal muscle is used for the movement of the muscles specifically the muscle contraction while the glycogen that is present in the liver is required to maintain the blood glucose several metabolic enzymes are responsible for maintaining the balance metabolic enzymes specifically involved in the glycogen synthesis and the glycogen degradation are responsible for the maintenance of the glucose balance above all the hormones are also playing a crucial role in maintaining the blood glucose level under normal circumstances they are tightly controlled by the organism allosteric control and covalent modification helps to mediate enzyme activity glycogen storage diseases our modules are divided into two that is diseases associated with the glycogen synthesis and the disease associated with the glycogen breakdown but in literature you will find the glycogen storage diseases these are the diseases results from the genetic defect that causes this enzyme to become inactive such defects are inherited and require that both parents carry at least one defective gene a zygote was parents are both heterozygous for a glycogen storage disease has a 25% chance of inheriting the production the disease while each of this disease prevents the correct production of a different enzymes mostly the glycogen storage diseases inhibit a cell's ability to synthesize or metabolize glycogen create an energy crisis for both body and have a direct effect on liver and muscle tissues which contain most of the body's glycogen deposits the glycogen concentration if increased in these respective organs it will impair their function glycogen storage diseases affects primarily the liver skeletal muscles heart central nervous system and the kidney the principal storage depots for glycogen are the liver and the skeletal muscles there are certain symptoms that is associated with glycogen storage disease hypoglycemia is the primary indicator 
of a liver involvement. Hypoglycemia means reduced concentration of a glucose, muscle cramps, excess intolerance, muscle weakness, hypotonia, and fatigue. A typical of glycogen accumulation in skeletal muscles. If in the skeletal muscles glycogen accumulates, then this kind of the symptoms are observed in the patient. In addition, the peripheral and the central nervous systems, myocardium and renal tubules may also suffer from aberrant glycogen accumulation. Early diagnosis and treatment are important. Since we do not have a cure right now, but if we have early diagnosis, then we may reduce the sufferings of the patients. Early diagnosis and treatment are important for improving quality of life, reducing the damaging effect on organs that become, that become engorged with the glycogen and extending the patient's lifespan. More recently, enzyme replacement and gene therapy have been explored using animal models and skeletal muscle cells obtained from affected patients. The glycogen storage disease is genetically inherited and characterized by deficiency in enzyme production along the pathway of glycogen storage and breakdown in the liver. The different types of glycogen storage diseases are derived from exactly where the mutation occurs on the glycogen gluconeogenesis pathway. In preparation for understanding this disease, we need to understand the basic biological concept such as how genetics play a role in the disease by producing a mutation that affect the glycogen gluconeogenesis pathway in the liver. So what is our concept map for the today's lecture? In this lecture, we will first study briefly about the glycogen synthesis. We will also learn about the glycogen storage diseases. We will then study the disease associated with the glycogen synthesis. Glycogen is a highly branched large polymer of glucose molecules linked along its main line by alpha 1,4 glycosidic linkage. Branches arise by alpha 1,6 glycosidic bond at about every tenth residue. Glycogen storage diseases relates to a set of metabolic disorder occurs due to a defective glycogenesis or glycogenolysis. Classification of glycogen storage diseases are according to the type of enzymatic deficiency. It is also classified on the basis of a kind of primary organs involved. Glycogen storage diseases are usually diagnosed in infants or early childhood. Enzyme associated with Glycogen storage diseases are involved in the regulation of glycogen metabolism. It is observed that there is a phenotypic variation is observed when specific enzyme is altered by mutation. Such diseases concern primarily the liver, skeletal muscles, heart, central nervous system and the kidneys. These distinctive diseases are relatively diverse in age of onset of symptoms, morbidity and mortality. A person with glycogen storage diseases has a deficiency of one of the enzyme responsible for synthesis or a degradation of glycogen in the body. It results into abnormal concentration of glycogen in the tissue or imperfectly formed glycogen. In glycogen storage diseases, human body is not able to make enough glucose or not able to use glucose as a source of energy. 
diagnosis of GSTs are depend on the individual symptoms. Glycogen storage diseases are genetic disorder. They are caused due to mutation in the genes related to glycogen metabolism. General diagnosis of the glycogen storage diseases. It is detected infancy or childhood. In severe case, it is immediately identified why milder types may not be identified or unnoticed for several years. General characteristic symptoms include hypoglycemia, hepatomegaly, growth retardation and irregular blood biochemistry. A more specific diagnosis can be done by analyzing concentration of glycogen in a biopsy sample or by assaying the sample for enzyme activity. Genetic diagnostic techniques are also available. Glycogen storage diseases are currently not curable. Generally, it is treated to manage symptoms. Treatment involves organ transplant or dietary treatment. In future, it may be possible to treat such disease by using gene therapy. In this chapter, we will discuss the glycogen storage diseases associated with glycogen synthesis. Let's have an overview of glycogen synthesis first. Then we will discuss the disease associated with it. Glycogenesis and glycogenolysis occurs by a different pathway. Glycogen synthesis involves the use of an activated form of glucose. Mammals, fungi and eukaryotic heterotropic microorganism uses UDP glucose. While bacteria, photosynthetic eukaryotes uses ADP glucose. Initially, a glucose is phosphorylated to glucose 6-phosphate. This reaction is catalyzed by hexokinase or glucokinase. Phosphoglucomutase catalyzes the isomerization of glucose 6-phosphate to glucose 1-phosphate. Now, UDP glucose pyrophosphorylase catalyzes the formation of UDP glucose from UTP and glucose 1-phosphate. Glycogen synthase transfers the glucosyl residue from UDP glucose to the non-reducing terminal residue of glycogen. It is transferred to hydroxyl terminal of a C4 end of a glycogen to form an alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond. Glycogen synthase catalyzes only alpha 1,4 glycosidic bond. It results into the formation of alpha amylose. Branching is catalyzed by a separate enzyme called branching enzyme. It is also known as amylo 1416 transglycosylase. Students may refer module 25 of a glycogenesis for further detail. Now let's try to understand the glycogen storage disease which is specifically associated with the glycogen synthesis. These are the mainly glycogen storage disease type 0 and glycogen storage disease type 4. The glycogen storage disease type O it is also known as hepatic glycogen synthase deficiency. It is caused due to deficiency of glycogen synthase enzyme. Glycogen synthase, as you know, it transfers the glucosyl residue from UTP glucose to the non-reducing terminal residue of glycogen. It is transferred to hydroxyl terminal at the C4 end of a glycogen to form an alpha glycosidic bond. Glycogen synthase is the regulatory enzyme in the synthesis of glycogen. Liver glycogen storage will not be there due to the deficiency of glycogen synthase. Carbohydrates will be converted into lactate instead of glycogen. This is autosomal recessive disease. The chromosome location of the gene is very well displayed in the screen. Its general symptoms include postprandial period are generally having hyperglycemia, glycosuria, hyperlactic acidemia, while the fasting 
time it will be having hypoglycemia and hyperketonemia. In this disease, objective is to prevent the low blood sugar by evading fasting. Repeated food should be given every 3 to 4 hours during the day. High protein food may help in reducing muscular cramping, tiredness and fatigue that patient experience. Glycogen storage disease type 4. It is also known as Anderson disease, Brancher deficiency, amylopectinosis, glycogen branching enzyme deficiency. This is autosomal recessive disorder. It occurs due to deficiency of branching enzyme. It is also known as amylo 14216 transglycosylase. After a number of glucose units have been linked as a straight chain with alpha 14 linkage, this branching enzyme breaks alpha 14 bonds. It breaks a 7 unit segment of alpha 14 residue from a glycogen chain and transfer it to C6 hydroxyl group of a glucosyl residue. So that is the background of this enzyme. The diagnosis and the chromosomal location of this particular disease. The chromosomal location is displayed on the screen while the diagnosis includes the genetic studies, histological and ultrastructure examination of the tissue sample. Generally treatment involves the liver transplantation. The gene therapy may be possible in future. Clinical manifestations are quite varied in the classic form of affected children appears to be normal at birth and present by an 18 months of age with failure to throw portal hypertension, hepatosplenomegaly and cirrhosis. Typically the disease progress rapidly leading to a death by 3 to 5 years of age. Central nervous system involvement may also occur. A perinatal form may present with hydrosphetalis, polyhydrominosis, and arthrogripoises. There have been the adult females that are heterozygous with cardiomyopathy. There are also adult forms that present with progressive myopathy that resembles muscular dystrophy with difficulty walking and proximal limb weakness. Diagnosis can be made with the histologic and ultrastructural examination. Enzyme deficiency or a gene mutation analysis for the branching enzyme can be performed on muscles, livers, fibroblasts, aminocytes or leukocytes. Treatment for glycogen storage disease 4 is mainly a liver transplantation for those with progressive liver, liver diseases. Transplantation may improve muscular diseases. Till now we learn the diseases that is associated with either glycogen synthesis or glycogen degradation. But there are certain diseases which is also classified as a glycogen storage diseases. So even though it is out of the scope of this chapter, we will try to explore certain diseases that is the glycogen storage diseases which are excludes the diseases associated with the glycogen synthesis and degradation. It includes type 7 taru disease that is a deficiency of phosphofructokinase in muscles and erythrocytes. Another is glycogen storage disease type 12 that is aldolase A deficiency. We try to first we will explore the type 7 
that is a deficiency of phosphofructokinase muscle and erythrocyte glycogen storage disease type 7 is caused by phosphofructokinase enzyme deficiency and has a clinical feature that is closely resembles those ascribed to glycogen storage type 5 that is a McCardell's disease. Phosphofructokinase catalyzes the phosphorylation of fructose 6-phosphate at position 1. Those affected have exercise intolerance, muscle cramps, myoglobinuria. Its treatment is directed towards avoiding exercise, high protein diet with branched amino acids like leucine, isoleucine, valine and vitamin B6 supplementation are suggested to rebuild damaged muscles. The next disease is glycogen storage disease type 12. The glycogen storage disease type 12 is has been recently described and result from a deficiency in aldolase A. Chromosomal location has been identified. Aldolase A phosphorylates fructose 6-phosphate to fructose 1,6-phosphate. This glycolytic enzyme catalyzes the reversible conversion of fructose 1,6-biphosphate to glycerol DH3-phosphate and dihydroxyacetone. Aldolase A deficiency blocks terminal glycolysis. Aldolase A is primarily found in skeletal muscles and erythrocytes. These clinical features are myopathy with exercise intolerance and non spiriocytic hemolytic anemia. Creatine kinase serum level tend to be moderate. Treatment is directed towards avoiding exercise. High protein diet is suggested. So, we learn about the glycogen storage diseases. This glycogen storage diseases affects primarily liver, skeletal muscles, heart, nervous system, kidney. These unique diseases are quite varied in age of the onset of symptoms, morbidity, mortality. Glycogen storage diseases are classified according to their individual enzyme deficiency. Each of these enzymes regulates their synthesis or degradation of the glycogen. If there is any defect in these enzymes, ultimately it results into the diseases. That's why we say the glycogen storage diseases are a genetic disorders. So students, let's summarize conclude what we learn in this module. In this lecture, we learn about the diseases associated with the glycogen breakdown and synthesis. Glycogen storage diseases are complex, rare and varied diseases that until the last decade were managed symptomatically. Current treatment is still directed towards lessening the symptoms, but there is an effort to prevent the effect. Many defects in glycogen metabolism have been identified. These are all related to a deficiency in enzyme activity at one point or another in the metabolism of glycogen. The introduction of a new technology like recombinant enzyme replacement for infants with glycogen storage diseases type 2 in Pons disease and shown a promising results. Several systematic studies have documented the effect of enzyme replacement therapy on this Pons diseases that is GSD type 2. Thank you very much.